Hello YouTube, it is Techno Paradox here, and today we are going to be working on a computer login program. Um, as you can see here, I have a computer, and I have read this since this is a, uh, since this is a security program, and we're following my color code here for my little factory. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just have a computer and a disk drive. Uh, go ahead and stick. I, I'm going to use it on my main computer here. I'll go ahead and stick in the disk and go ahead and set the label of the disk. Or label set bottom login or system login. Uh, I also have to set my my computer. I never did that. So I'm going to set this in case it breaks, then the login won't go away. So set login, or label set tech paradox PC. Alright. Um, so here we got the system login disk, and we're going to create a program on that disk called disk slide, or called login. Um, the first thing we're going to do is stop termination. Uh, to do this, we're going to be, be using the os.pull event. equals os.pull event raw um, we're gonna clear the screen I really like these advanced monitors they support clicking and they have colors I really like that because it's a lot easier to code uh, they also support scrolling so instead of holding down arrows to get to your code I don't know it's so much easier term.clear um, and since I like to center my programs, as you may know, uh, term dot set cursor position, and we're gonna do twenty and nine or twenty and eight. Um, then we're going to set the username and right now we're just going to set as a space for the same reason as in my door pass video episode 3 um, just so that if you're giving it to a person they don't have to do this stuff themselves they can just change this blank space then we're going to do the password um, then we are going to get user info using write, not print. Uh, or actually, first we're going to print this thing that says uh, print. And then first we're going to print the thing that says login. And then we're going to put term dot set cursor position. 15 and 9. Oh, I forgot the dot there. Looked like I could just click up there. That was awesome. Alright, so write username and then user equals read and then write or er, term dot set cursor 15 10 write password pass equals read and then we're going to hide that since it's should be secure information you could put anything you want here you could put like a and it would just show up as like a bunch of a's which could actually trick people that'd be cool or you could put poop and for every letter you typed it would say poop so like poop 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 <laughs> but I'm just gonna use asterisks um so then after that we're gonna verify the user's information actually we're gonna test this out quick uh, disk slash login and we can see here technical paradox and da 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 so I'm actually going to move that to the left a little bit. 
Just click down there. Maybe 11. This provide more than enough space. Oops. Uh, technical paradox. And that's perfect. Okay. So, edit disk slash login. We are now going to have to verify that we have the right information. Um, so, as you guys know, I like to be fancy. So, we're going to use the term dot set cursor. Um, we're going to set it at 14 and 11. And then we will uh, turn that set cursor position. Oh, let me type text details. That's slow print. This is completely optional. I just like to put verifying for the added effect as I explained in my last video. Um, with this text details thing, you can also put a number here and it'll edit the speed. I don't usually mess with it though. Um, Alright, so then we're actually, we actually are going to verify if um, user equal equal username then then we're gonna check if pass equal equal pass so you could actually do multiple things you could do like uh, else if things where if like with multiple usernames like user 2 user 3 so if user equal username 2 and pass equal password 2 like I might do a future video about that and then we will actually uh, log in or term dot clear or term dot set cursor position at fourteen or thirteen twelve print logged in and then we will sleep for one second and then we will term dot clear term dot set cursor position one one and then we're actually going to print out something uh, print user dot dot and then a uh, quotation mark comma s pc so that'll just say one, once they're logged in it'll say Blanks PC, so it would say Technical Paradox PC, uh, YouTube's PC, Viewers PC, whatever their username is. And then, so then we will end, or else we'll do an else, so if the password is wrong but the username is right, <coughs> <coughs> it'll say term.set cursor position 14, 12, print wrong. I'm just going to put wrong. I'm not going to give anything like, oh, the password's wrong or the username's wrong. I'm going to put wrong. And then we're going to put end to end the password loop. Then we'll put else for the username. Um, term dot set cursor at 1412. And I'm just also going to put wrong. Oh gosh, caps. I'm just gonna put wrong. Then we'll put. Then we'll end that. And if it's wrong, or if it's wrong, we also have to OS dot reboot. And then we end it. So here, we also have to put OS dot reboot. So we're gonna just test this out. Uh, we just have everything set as a space right now. So it's logged in. I also need to move that. It'll say blank because that's our username. Space is our username. 
So edit this slash login. Um, the the ver the logged in thing was in the wrong spot. There is the space and the space. All right, so that's still in the wrong spot. Uh, this is just going to be some basic retouching here. Because I like to have everything perfect. Alright. Then we're just going to move over the login thing a little bit. Alright. Sorry about this. Um, I just like my programs to be nice. Oops. Alright. Alright, there we go. So now let's check out what happens if we get it wrong. Oh. We forgot to put the sleep, or I forgot, I don't know if you did. Uh, before, we gotta put sleep, and then just let it sleep for a second so that they can see that they got it wrong. Alright, so now everything should work perfectly. Or, I just gotta make sure that the, uh, the wrong thing is centered. Yeah, that is not centered. Um, so I'm guessing that we need to put it at around 20. Um, uh, I was wrong. We need 19. Or 18. No, I think 19. Sorry about this again. I'm just trying to make everything very nice. Uh, you guys can copy the exact same thing that I'm doing. The exact same numbers. Alright, so there we go. And now, let's check out what it looks like on the monitor. Alright, so yeah, that works. Um, so we're gonna have to put, wait, monitor. Alright, so, now we're gonna copy the program onto our startup. Oops. Uh, as you can see, I accidentally created a start you thing, so we're going to delete that. Alright, so there we go. So now we're going to edit startup. We're going to change the username. I'm going to change mine to technical paradox. And I'm going to change the password to just a random password. And then we're gonna reboot, or we're gonna eject the disk and reboot. So now, when the system turned on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. All right, so there we go. And now it's gonna say Techno Paradox's PC. And that is how you create a system login for um, Computercraft. Uh, I like it. It's pr I like how it's centered. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the computer. Get the password wrong. Uh, it says wrong if you get the username right, but the password wrong. It says wrong if you get the username wrong, but the password right. It says wrong. So the only combination is the username and password. Another thing, if you want to go super fancy. 
you can go ahead like right now I'm gonna end the video not end the video but end like it for you guys if you want to end it um we're gonna but we're about to get super fancy here in like the next it'll only take two minutes you just stick around but if you're not gonna just please drop a like rating subscribe whatever um so we're gonna make this fancy quick we are actually we're going to log into our PC and after this we are going to edit disk slash login because we are going to make this fancy. You might notice that password only pops up after username. We're about to change that. So we are going to right up here. We're going to set this to whatever it does before it goes to password, which is 11 and 10. Uh, we're then going to click print password. And that is all we have to do. Let me check this. So there we go. Uh, it'll be blank, and then it'll be blank. So bam, that is pretty sexy, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Or we're going to remove our current startup and copy disk slash login to uh, the startup. And then we're going to edit the startup. And we're going to put on our stuff. I accidentally put that. I'm used to pushing tab to get to the next thing. I find myself... I find that this is so nice that I actually... Like right here, I'll reboot the system. I find myself actually typing in my thing. Because like I'm actually logging into a computer. And hitting tab. Because I want to get to the password thing. But I find myself doing that a lot, which means that this is actually a very nice uh, user interface. It tricks you into actually thinking you're logging into a real PC. So I actually really like this. Um, but anyway, that's just how you make it even better. Um, if you like this video, just please leave a rating, feedback. It really helps out the channel. And please subscribe for more videos. So thank you for watching. And this is Techno Paradox, and see you later.